Hey guys, Mark here, Raining Worse. Welcome back, folks. Today is Wisdom Friday, Wisdom Friday. <laughs> folks, I'm having a great day today. Um, for those who are new, on Wisdom Friday, it's a day where uh, we bring something for you to go ahead and think about that's impactful, that you can ponder and will be a blessing to you to take into the weekend. But before we get into it, I want to give a quick shout to all the new subscribers who join the family. I say welcome. I love you guys with the love of the Lord. And if you guys happen to have landed on this channel and the message speaks to you, give it a like, a thumbs up, and hit the subscribe button, join the family. Folks, let's go ahead and get into this message on Wisdom Friday. <clears throat> My message today, I want to um, uh, deliver you guys today is that God is not mad at you. Do you hear that, folks? You hear that? God is not mad at you. Jesus is not mad at you. You know, why do I say that? Why, why, do, why, why, do, I, why do I say that? Because, folks, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you something. One of the areas that the enemy has been trying to attack people and want to convince people is that the Lord is angry or the Lord is mad at you when we fall short, when we sin. That, um, you know, hey, well, you know, um, God is angry, God is mad. God saw what you just went ahead and did that just there, that lie that you spoke. Um, you know, how can you call? You call yourself a Christian? You know, you went ahead and you, uh, um, that person that you went ahead and got, got uh, went out and cussed out because you, you know, you, you just lost it and stuff like that there and you went ahead. God's going to use you. God's mad. God wants nothing to do with you. I mean, folks, it doesn't matter what the sin is. You know, sometimes we think, you know, oh, because, you know, fornication that happened. Has that happened before? <laughs> Have we fornicated? Let's be honest, folks. Let's be honest. <clears throat> Sometimes people think that's the worst thing, or committed adultery, or, or you know, um, um, whatever it may be, porn. I'm here to tell you that whatever sin or even vice that um, that had, that had grabbed hold of you in some area of life, and folks, all of us um, have had some place. That the enemy had attacked and um, and grabbed hold of that we had to overcome. I know in my life I have. I'm not going to sit here and act like you know holier than thou and that kind of thing. No, folks. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope. My message is to you guys, and what I believe that the Lord wants me to express to you guys is that even in whatever that sin is that violated God's word, it was a violation. Oh, Lord, the Lord, you know it, I, you know, you know it, the, the Bible is clear about it and all that. You fell short. But I'm here to tell you that God is not angry at you. God is not mad at you. God is not saying, hey, you know what? I'm tired of this person, man. I've been trying all this time and they just continue to mess up and all this other stuff to give up. Lord, folks, I look at my life. I've messed up many times over. And God has always brought me out from wherever it was <laughs> that I've fallen short in my life. And, and it hasn't been just one time. Multiple times over, folks. But the love of God, and this is the love of God that actually um, changes us. When we see his love. And I'm here to encourage my brothers and sisters who may have fallen short right now. May have done something that was not right in the sight of the Lord. And you think to yourself that, oh, no, you know what? That's it. God can't use me. This is bad. This is awful. Um, you know, uh, and then the devil's sitting here talking in your ear, making you feel as bad as you can possibly feel. That you're no longer can be used by the Lord, um, you know, um, and bringing condemnation, bringing guilt, condemnation, and weighing you down. I'm speaking to you today. This is Wisdom Friday. And I want to encourage my brothers and sisters that um, you, 
all of us who are in Christ Jesus, that's the thing. We're in Jesus. We're in Christ Jesus. We've accepted Jesus, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We have an advocate that stands on the right hand of the Father. But here's what the scripture says, folks, um, that I want to go ahead and read to you, dear. To encourage my brothers and sisters. Romans 8 says this. It says, there is therefore no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Let me say that again. There is therefore no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. No condemnation. No condemnation, folks. Who We who are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made us free from the law of sin and death. Wow. Do you hear that, folks? You hear that? This is a message of encouragement to my brothers and sisters. This devil that's out here that's trying to make you feel that, um, that what you've done is so bad, so awful, so terrible, that the Lord is, is done with you, is finished with you, we're exposing the lie right now, the enemy. <clears throat> this is what it says. We drop down to Romans uh, uh, 8, continue, verse 30, 33. It says this. Who shall lay, who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect. It is God that justifies. Did you hear that, folks? This is in your Bible. In your Bible, you can pick this up and read it for yourself. Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifies. Verse 34. Who is it that condemneth? It is Christ that died, yet rather that is risen again who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us. Jesus is making intercession for us at the, right hand of the, of, at the right hand of the Father. Making intercession. Verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of, God, from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness, or peril, or sword? <laughs> Verse 37, Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Praise God. Here it is, folks. Here it is right here. Thir Verse 38, For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, um, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Nothing, 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 folks, can separate you from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. So when this devil is out here, trying to make you feel bad and, 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 and bring condemnation that the Lord is angry, the Lord is mad at you, the Lord is done with you, the Lord can't use you anymore because of, of you falling short of some sin that you engaged in. Now, I'm not, this message, folks, let's not get it twisted. This is not a message of encouragement to sin. That's not what this is all about. That's not what this message is about. We must repent. And the Lord wants us to repent from our sins. That means to turn away. That means that whatever behavior or lifestyle or whatever it is that, we're, that we've um, been engaged in that's in violation of God's word, that we turn from that behavior and go the way of the Lord. Follow the, um, uh, the way of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as he's instructed us in the word of God. That's repenting, folks. And the Lord wants us to repent. But I'm here to encourage my brothers and sisters that there's no condemnation. Because the, the enemy wants you to feel condemned and that you're not going to be able to be used. Here's, again, I want to continue um, and give this, this part here to you as a method of encouragement also. This is what it says. That when we do fall short, let's just say we do fall short. This is what we should be doing. This is how our walk should be. Starting at verse 5. This is 1 John uh, chapter 1, starting at verse 5. It says this. This then is the message 
which we have heard of him and declare to you that God is light. In him there is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie. We do not live out the truth. Did you hear that, folks? Did you hear that? If we say we have fellowship with the Lord and we walk in darkness, he says we lie. We do not live out the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us of all sin. Wow. This is awesome, folks. If we um, walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us of all sins. Verse 8. If we say that we have no sin, or we have not sinned, we deceive ourselves. And the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Did you hear that, folks? Did you hear that? If we confess our sins, he is faithful to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him out to be a liar. And his word is not in us. Folks, when we fall short, we don't run away from the Lord. Because that's the tendency. A lot of times when we go ahead and we fall short, we, we, we want to hide. We want to, you know, not, you know, because we feel bad about what we did and everything else and everything. No, we should do a beeline straight to the Lord. And go to the Lord. And humble ourselves. Confess our sins. Repent. That means that we, you know, we, we ask the Lord for forgiveness, repent, we turn away from that, and continue to march down the road. That's what the Lord wants us to go ahead and continue to march on down. Not to feel condemned, not to feel that he doesn't love us, not to feel that he doesn't care for us, or anything like that. This is Wisdom Friday, folks. This is Wisdom Friday. Somebody needs to hear this message, that God loves you, and he's not mad at you, he's not upset at you, he's not angry at you. Um, and, and doesn't want anything to do with you. That is a lie from the pit that the enemy wants to convince you of, and I'm here to expose that lie, <clears throat> and says that God loves you and cares for you and wants the best for you. So if this message speaks to you, um, give it a like, a thumbs up, and hit the subscribe button. God loves us, folks, loves us. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ loves us and only wants the best for us. So um, again, God is not mad at you. When you fall short, in whatever way that is, run to the Lord. Run to the Lord. And let the Lord um, confess and let the Lord cleanse you, wash you up, for, and ask for forgiveness and continue to march down that road and reject the lie of the enemy. Share, like, subscribe. Leave a comment. And folks, <clears throat> um, God loves you. Always remember that. We'll see you in the next video.